I think the Freedom Talk conferences have a, a tremendous role to play because they they help to synthesize and direct a lot of the justifiable anger and frustration into something that's more productive and constructive. It, it, you know, I, I could say about any issue that, that bothers me, you know, I, I hate that Trudeau's doing this, I hate that the Liberal government's doing this, I don't like that this Premier is doing this, and, and, and I think there's a value to that, there's a catharsis in that, but, but does it do anything? And the answer is in the long run, no. Now, combined collective anger can because people can protest and, and write letters to politicians, but when you are looking for practical solutions to a problem, and, and for Western independence, a lot of that is hinging on a referendum. When you're looking for practical solutions, it really comes down to, okay, how can we mobilize? How can we organize? How can we actually figure out what we want from this? And, you know, again, even for me, I'd say the first time I, I started talking about this issue, I was viewing it in more abstract terms of, okay, does Alberta want in or out? And it was only through hearing other speakers over the past few years that I've really started to understand some of the other dynamics of, okay, well, what would come next? What would that mean for the police? What would that mean for the tax base? What would that mean for all these things? And I think it's really good for any movement to have a long-term view of this. And, and that's historically something that the political left has always done well. They know what their next step is. Whereas I, I think people on the right have, have oftentimes not gone there. So I, I do think that these conferences really help focus what it is that is actually the goal.